A time series graph uses quantitative data that has been collected at different points in time. Time is plotted along the x-axis and the collected data is plotted along the y-axis. So let's look at an example. So here we have a study of disposable income in the United States and it was uh, this disposable income was recorded for several previous years. So here's the data starting back in 1960 and our x data, uh, the x axis as we said would be the uh, years or the time. So it could be years, it could be days, it could be seconds, it just depends on the context of the problem. And our y value is the disposable income in billions. Now by disposable income we're talking about the amount of money that households have for spending and saving after income tax dollars have been removed from that. So this is considered to be one of the key economic indicators that are used to gauge the overall state of the economy. So let's see if I can do a better job of drawing a straight line for our graph. A mm, little bit better. Okay. So these are paired data because 1960 and this 1900 billion go together. We couldn't rearrange either one of these columns and have the same data set. So these are paired data. In 1960, this was the disposable income. Okay, so our, our years go across the bottom. We start with 1960, then 1970, 1980, 1990, 2000, and 2010. So it's each 10 uh, in 10-year ten increments. So these are years. Time is always on the x-axis in a time series graph. Okay, so this is our disposable income. It's dollars and billions. Okay, so I'm going to start down here would be zero, and let's see, I need to get um, at, uh, past 9,000, so let's see if I can do that. If this is 1,000, 2,000, 3, 4, okay. 6,000, 7, 8, I am just going to barely make it, 9,000 and we'll have to go just slightly above that for our highest value. Okay, so let's start plotting. At in 1960 the disposable income in billions was 1,900, so that would be approximately right here. Let's see, I wanted to change that color. Let's try this color. Okay. In 1970, it was 2,850. Be about right there. Again, graph paper would be much nicer. I could do a much better job here. 1980, 3950, so almost a 4,000. 1990, 5,200, so maybe about right there. In the year 2000 it was 7,000 billion right here. And then 2010 we're up here as high as I can get at 91. And so we're looking for a trend. There's a really clear trend here in this time series graph. We're seeing what we would call an upward trend. Over time, we're seeing an increase in, in the disposable income in the U.S. So time series graphs are used to help show us trends over time.